Hi, this is Amos Tarfa with Living Sensibly with Amos Tarfa. I just wanted to talk briefly about why everybody needs a gap year. I think that every student, you know, when they graduate high school, during that summer, they really have to think hard about why are they going to college if that's what they're going to do, right? Um, it seems like a lot of people who go to trade school, sometimes they have vision direction, that's what they want to do, and they do their apprenticeship and it goes, you know, how it goes. But what about those who go to regular college, four-year college, and don't know what they want to do? Should we maybe consider a gap summer or gap fall or gap year? Well, let me talk to you about a program that I put together with a, a friend of mine named Joseph in Nigeria. And this program is now at a point where it's going to connect students from Nigeria, America, the UK, Singapore, and beyond, right? We're just going to be united over the internet, and then hopefully they, um, people can attend in-person uh, collaboration meetings. But for now, we can collaborate over the internet, right? I'll be mentoring some students online, and so I'm, tel I'm telling you this, um, uh, this information as you think about those who you know who might be graduating high school, secondary school, wondering what to do with their lives. So let's talk about the different components of this. We called it Adulam. Uh, back then, we called it Adulam. Adulam is from 1 Samuel 22. I'll read a section, but it was called Adulam Leadership Academy. And uh, I have the notes here from September of 2018. I think it's time to make sure I get this off the ground with my friend Joseph. And we said, redeeming the youth, providing a solution to the, lead to the leadership crisis in the world. That's what we said. Now, let's go to 1 Samuel 22. In 1 Samuel 22, it says, David therefore departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. So when his brothers and all his father's house heard it, they went down there to him. And everyone who was in distress, everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was discontented uh, gathered to him, so he became captain over them. And there were about 400 men with him. So that's what happened there, right? In, in 1 Samuel 22, we see their story. But then if you actually read on, or if you follow the story later on, in 2 Samuel 23, it talks about these be the names of the mighty men whom David had. So in the Adullam situation, we basically get men who have come from a difficult situation. This is where King Saul is involved. And um, you can go back and read the story in Samuel and Kings. And these men were not in a good spot, but they went to David. And David, um, you know, worked with them and just he led them and they became mighty men, right? So think of Adullam as a time of reflection, a time of um, thinking about what are the tools God has given you? What are the gifts that you, you've been blessed with and how can you refine them and make sure that you're going in the right direction to use those gifts to be a blessing to the world? That's how we look at it for young people and why we believe a gap season is important. So let's look at it from the top here. Um, I'm just going to read a few notes for what Adullam is about and then we'll go from there. The vision of Adullam is to see a generation of students who will repair the ruins in our culture and to be people who may uh, grow to be more like Christ, right? In Colossians 1.28 and Philippians chapter 3, it talks about we're not perfect, we've not achieved, but we press on to the uh, higher calling. We want to provide a solution, as I said, to the leadership crisis in the world. Um, so here are some of the goals for the students. We want to help them grow in their knowledge of God and His Word, um, with the time that they have with us. We want to inspire them to find the talents and tools that they've been given and give them a venue to use those tools. We want to help them get up to 30 to 60 college credits if that's the route, if college is the route they want to go. We're going to help them get 30 to 60 college credits with our partnership with the university in Texas. Um, we want to, for those who do not want to go to college, they, they can learn life skills and they can work, um, you know, just Wherever they, they, they work, let's say they have an apprenticeship in a plumbing program, they can still attend our program for the Bible studies that we do. Um, we want to provide people with job shadowing opportunities and career training opportunities as well as, as, well as mentor, mentorships. So students can be mentored by people who are in different fields. And we want to teach them how to use the workforce as an opportunity to make an impact. Um, and ultimately we, uh, well, ultimately, we want them to know the Lord and grow in His Word and we want to raise up the next generation of thinkers who will make an impact in ways similar to Leonard Euler, Isaac Newton, and shining whatever gifts they've been given. Uh, the goal is about 10.30 to noon, or 10.30 to noon is when we meet online on Zoom, and we discuss how things are going, what books people are reading. Um, we'll talk about leadership skills. We'll talk about, uh, you know, Bible lessons. We'll be going through a chronological Bible reading plan. So, you expect 
uh, biblical knowledge and growth, expect uh, academic growth for those who want to take generals or, or general chemistry one, general physics one, things like that. Um, you can expect to do that or expect opportunities to learn life skills and financial literacy and just all of the details of what it takes to become a responsible adult. So that's part of what Adolam is for. It connects students from Nigeria, America, the UK, Singapore, Australia, people from all over the world. We can jump online, encourage one another, you know, pray for, uh, pray, and then we'll, we'll go off to our different posts. My hope is that we can meet once a year in the summer, God willing, in Houston or Dallas, and just uh, see how everybody's doing, encourage people, praise the Lord together. And so that's what Adolam is going to be doing. Now, Adolam in Nigeria is actually called Adolam um, Talent Leadership Advancement Support. So that's the one in Nigeria. It's called Atlas, Adolam uh, Talent Leadership Advancement Support. In America, Adolam actually has a partner organization called Blaise Pascal Institute of Learning for uh, innovation, sorry, I, I mix up the names sometimes. Blaise Pascal Institute of Excellence for uh, Entrepreneurship and Innovation. So basically that's what the, the partner organization is. But the idea is the same. You graduate secondary school or high school and you have time to think about your life. What direction do you wanna go? Get some mentoring, grow in the word. Let's read the chronological Bible reading plan together. Let's read the abolition of man together. And then let's meet uh, once a year, whether it, sometimes it'll be on the state side, sometimes it'll be at Oxford or Cambridge, sometimes it'll be in Nigeria. So we have different opportunities, different regions to meet. So let me know if you have any questions, thoughts about gap year programs. Have a blessed day.